Hey, what's up guys? Min City here back in with another video and today we are taking a look at Paladin Story. Now, what is Paladin Story? This is an RPG available on the App Store. This is made by one developer, which is really impressive. I'm just gonna be naming off the positives that I have experienced after playing this game for some time and just some of my per first impressions. So first and foremost, the art style is hand-drawn, uh, hand-colored, and it really does have a lot of personality and charm to it. I do like it quite a bit definitely sets it apart. It may give it a little more uh, rough around the edges look, especially with its animations, but it's pretty pretty smooth and fluid for one developer. And I do like it. It gives a lot of personality and charm, sets it apart from other games, like I mentioned before. The music has a Monty Python's The Holy Grail um, vibe to it, just that type of music, that, that classic fantasy music. And I do like it, definitely fits the art style super well. Another highlight of the game is the writing. The writing breaks the fourth wall quite a bit. Um, like for instance, at the start of the game, uh, your your character, your adventurer is like, what the heck, I thought I was gonna be going on a really cool uh, epic quest, but you're just sending me on a fetch quest for strawberries? Like what the crap is this? So I really like the, the writing is different. Doesn't take itself too seriously. Definitely sets it, itself apart with the writing as well, which I really enjoyed. Definitely a surprise uh, surprise thing that I ended up enjoying more than I thought. Now the gameplay, the meat and potatoes of the game. Um, the developer said that they were inspired by Settlers of Catan and how the board is set up. And Settlers of Catan is a board game if you guys are not familiar with that. And the board is set up with uh, tiles that are allocated to certain types of land. And in this game, it's no different. So it's certain types of land that you traverse across or the, the tile is occupied by a location, an enemy, stuff of that nature. Um, you will click on tiles to maneuver your character to them. Um, if you click on an enemy, you go into combat. So with combat, it's very rhythm-based, very time-based. And so, for instance, if you want to attack them with your melee weapon, you will click the right side of the screen. And as soon as your weapon makes contact with the enemy, you click again with your finger and it'll do like a series of fast attacks and it's more real time based. So your enemy will be attacking you while you're attacking um, it. And it's really good. You kind of learn the rhythm and you get better at it. The, the, the battle system is really good and it layers on more mechanics as you go farther and farther in the game. Um, I like it because it doesn't really distract too much from the rest of the game. It's not so deep that it you have to focus all your attention on it. You can focus your attention on other things. The UI is another highlight. The UI is super organized. I can tell the developer has played a lot of RPGs in their day. A lot of streamlined uh, menu systems. Uh, there's quest logs that you can read through the entirety of the quest log as you're on it. So you don't have to go back and talk to the person again. It has everything that's been said before. Um, and it's just really organized. Uh, no complaints with the UI and the inventory system and stuff like that. You can equip your character with armor, weapons, uh, everything you've seen in other RPGs. Now, how do they monetize? Uh, there's a singular $6.99 in-app purchase to, un to basically have some quality of life improvements as well as unlock the rest of the game. I don't know how far you can play into this game. I don't know if you can beat it without this in-app purchase, but I do know it unlocks certain areas as far as I know. Um, I think this is super fair, especially since it doesn't shove it in your face. You have to discover this when you visit a shopkeeper and then um, it's within the menus of the shopkeeper. So I think it's very um, stand up that the developer doesn't shove this in-app purchase in your face over and over and over again. It's just there if you want it, if you end up enjoying the game. And I feel like people who enjoy the game will be like, look how I'm wondering how I can uh, support this developer. So I highly suggest this game. It's a breath of fresh air. Honestly, it has a lot of personality, a lot of heart in it. Um, and it does some things different. So the link to the game will be in the description down below. If it is available on Android, I don't know at the time of making this video, but I just received some feedback from you guys in my Tetris video. Uh, you guys commented that I was, I'm was i only providing the iOS links, even if the game is available on Android. And so I am exclusively an iOS game playing channel, <laughs> I guess I would say. If it's not on iOS, I don't cover it, but I do put it in the title sometimes if I know that the game is available on Android as well. 
So I've been leaving you guys, you Android players out. I'm sorry about that. I will try to uh, include the Android link as well in the description down below if the games that I'm covering are available on Android. So I appreciate you guys continuing to give me uh, constructive criticism and feedback. I really appreciate it. Please leave your uh, comments in the comment section down below. Uh, as always, I love hearing you guys and hearing from you guys and seeing what you guys think and what you have to say. So I really do appreciate that. Please leave a like and pop a sub if you guys are new or you enjoy mobile gaming content because that's all I make on this YouTube channel. Again, thank you so much for watching.